What's the recipe for a successful boy band? Get a guitarist, a bass player and a drummer, add an extrovert vocalist as a frontman and mix in a dash of sex appeal with a measure of fresh face charm. Shake it all up and you've got a chart-topping combo just like Sanam, the indie pop sensation who broke hearts in South Africa recently. Saki got to meet the band. Jet lag from travelling hasn't slowed the guys down at all and they're hard at work preparing for the show. If anyone was monitoring the collective heartbeat of indie pop fans in Gauteng, they would have noticed a massive uptick. Fortunately, this didn't indicate any cause for alarm in terms of cardiac health because the cause was easy to trace. It was a classic symptom of Sanam fever. Finally get to meet the band. Hello. What's up? Thank you. How are you? It's very good. It's great to see you. Like, yeah. I can't wait to meet all of you. Oh yeah, we're all here. You've been winning a lot of hearts. Did you see this coming when you started out? No, not at all. We just like love to do music, so we're just like focusing on that, and everything else that's happening is just like it's just great. It's so overwhelming, really, guys. So. And you. How old were you when you sang your first song? I think I was probably like eight years old or seven years old, and it must have been like uh, maybe I remember actually playing uh, more than words on the guitar and singing it. So that was my first memory. Give you know, us like, a rendition. Saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. Could I meet the rest of the guys? Let's go. Let's go. The lineup features frontman Sanam Puri, with Samar Puri doing double duty on lead guitar and vocals, bass player Venki S, and Keshav Danraj on drums. Have you guys ever been to South Africa before and how do you feel about our country? It's yeah. South, South, South Africa, first time South Africa, first time Johannesburg. Johannesburg. I mean, we haven't really explored the place yet. And yeah, what we see been, is like yeah. amazing. We've seen like some really yeah, nice stuff. Whatever we've seen, it's been The weather is also really nice. Yeah. yeah. How did the four of you get together originally? We're from different parts like the, the Delhi, uh, Chennai, Chennai like, Muscat, Bangalore. Bangalore. <laughs> and we all, you know, like got together in, in Mumbai. Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> and we started making music together over there. That's great. And how do you go about choosing the golden oldies and which ones are your favorites? Well, sometimes random, sometimes random, it, we yeah. just like go with what we feel like. Maybe like today yeah. I feel like singing this song. And they say, hey guys, yeah. do you want to you know, jam up on this one? And there are some songs that we liked, you know, the old songs that we liked and we just discussed, do you like this song? And then, you know, yeah, I like it. Okay, if he hasn't heard it, then we play it to him. And like, oh, it's a nice song, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Although Sanam and Samar are brothers, it was actually Samar and Venki who first began a musical partnership as schoolmates in Oman. There is so much emotion in your music and lots of romantic tunes. Is there any specific reason for this? Our name Sanam means beloved. Yeah. yeah, I think our music <laughs> reflects that. It's a term of endearment, like you know how you call somebody darling or baby. Me. I think so it's, it's pretty much that in Hindi. What would you attribute the success of your band? We spend a lot of our time just doing things that make us happy. Uh, making music together makes us happy, so success to us is that happiness. And as I keep saying, we're just having fun. <laughs> yeah. In such a highly competitive industry, how have you managed to remain such good friends? There's a fifth member who's actually behind the scenes. He <laughs> plays a big role in uh, keeping us motivated yeah. and uh, yeah. keeping us focused. What have you got planned for Sunnam in the future? We're going to keep making music. Make and we, music. we want to improve as much as we can. Oh, like, yes. you know. What do you enjoy most about live performances? The thrill, so right? It's so electric when you know, like you play a chord and, and people shout like, yeah, that's the thing, like, you know? <laughs> do you have a message for your South African fans? Thanks for loving us. Thanks for having uh, thank us Thank you here. for having us. 
Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. I actually can't wait to watch you perform. After setting the tone with something slow and romantic, the boys began to warm things up for the sing along. Seamless transitions between Eastern and Western hits are all part of the Sanam signature. And with phone lights, there's no danger of dampening the mood by setting off smoke detectors. Rosario couple of Osman and Shaista Khan Osman had taken up the challenge of bringing Sanam to their local fans. Shaista and Osman, why did you choose Sanam and why one night only? Well, the actual reason we chose Sanam was because of our daughter, Serena Ilahi. We literally wake up every morning to hear up Nadil. Like, we listen to that song like 500 times. She goes onto Osman's phone, goes onto YouTube, and, and she just, finds it. It's, and she goes, it's on the history, and it's amazing. Every time I delete it, somehow she finds it. They're amazing. Basically, the band started doing cover numbers, songs of Yesti here, and they started putting a fresh spunk on it. And to see the youth and people get into old songs that our parents and grandparents listen to, it's amazing. So it's a trip down memory lane. Fantastic show, fantastic performance. The best way to treat my wife is to remain so with his words. I don't sing, he can. They are amazing. They can sing, they can dance, and they can do it really well. It was awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent performance. The show was very nice and exciting. They're awesome. You can see them. You can even, you can touch them. What is so refreshing about Sandam is how humble they are. And they are no doubt becoming one of India's biggest acts. That's it from me, Zaki, and I can't wait to see you next time.